Audubon boys basketball team goes to 6-2 and two on the year, holds off a pesky Underwood squad. Coach, what did you think? Coach Coleman Mullinex with us here. What did you think was the difference? <laughs> well, I thought the difference in terms of how they were executing for the first three quarters was they really controlled the pace. That third quarter was really slow. We only had 11 points. I was nervous because we knew we talked in halftime if it turned into half-court game, that was advantage them. And that's really what it was in that third quarter. You know, but the difference down the stretch, I'd say our, uh, our defense, our pressure got to them a little bit. We could get some steals or even deflections or even just uh, rebounds off of, of them, them shooting after they broke the press. And we could push back to the other end, get some buckets that way. And we were able to get to the rim a lot better in the fourth quarter. And uh, really, I just think we can control pace, pace a little better. Uh, and then also free throw shooting. I mean, we, you know, when you have a kid like Tate, and uh, I think 14 for 16 is what Bork told me. And I'm not sure, I think he shot most of them down the stretch there. But, you know, I mean, in, in a game where, where people are going to start fouling, I mean, that's what helped us, you know, kind of keep them at bay. And, and eventually help us pull it off was really, I would say, free throw shooting. Tate's free throw shooting. Yeah, I think it was 15 and 19 as a team, second yeah. half, and yeah, Tate was 14 out of 16. Uh, you went from down eight to up six pretty quickly early in the fourth. When you're down eight, how much concern is there that you know maybe this isn't our night, maybe uh, we're going to hang our heads and, and Underwood might steal one? I would say there. I would say that there was there was concern because you're never happy when you're losing a game but it didn't it, you know it didn't affect how we play you know like you said in terms of the are you gonna think oh maybe this isn't our night you know that just that's that's not in our DNA and, and it's my job to not let that be in our DNA. you know we're gonna play for 32 minutes that's what we sign up for every single night and 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 I can't guarantee you any games we're gonna win or lose but I can guarantee you that that we're gonna get our money's worth out of those 32 minutes and you know, so we knew we were going to keep competing. We knew what we had to do. We knew what, what wasn't going our way, and that was just pace. It was slow. We knew we had to get out and run. Like I said earlier, I think that we were able to do that. We got out and, and ran a little bit, and we were able to pull away in the end. Obviously, we've talked a lot about your big three, you know, Tate Colleen, Lane Lawson, and uh, Caden Smith, but you had some guys like Marcus Olson and Skylar Schultz hit big threes in the fourth. Schultz kind of kick-started the comeback, and uh, Olson had one with about two minutes left to really – I don't know if you'd say put it away, but it was a pretty big dagger. What can you say about those contributions? Yeah, I mean those those two kids are are they're so they're 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 an integral piece to this team's success, and and they're they're coachable kids who who will always do what you ask them. You know, they if I had to guess who who knew the game plan the best of anyone on our team of the eleven guys on our varsity team, I would guess that they're up there. You know, like they just they understand what's going on, they understand the game well. You know, Marcus kind of is sneaky sometimes. He really, I thought there was times where he was our best penetrator against the zone. And, you know, Skyler made some plays defensively. Those kids are always going to work. They're always going to work really hard. And you know that sooner or later it's going to pay off. And, and it, it did for them for them tonight. And and on top of that, you know, they understand their, their roles kind of offensively. You know, Skyler gets that corner three a lot off other people's penetration. And he knows that we talk about the shot as a team, the shot where, where it gets, you know, it's that one more pass, whatever it may be. Everybody in the gym is yelling shoot. It's Especially if you don't shoot it, every even the people who don't know anything about basketball, that's we call that the shot. And so, you know, Skyler and Marcus, they both know when to take that. And, and uh, uh, they, like I said, they just they understand they understand when they, you know, kind of find their their role offensively, and, and they're doing a good job executing in it right now. Jalen Humphrey is their main scoring threat, and he had a pretty good first half. Did you do anything different on him in the second half? Try to hold him under wraps? We did. Do you know how many he had in the first half? I think it was probably nine of his sixteen. I want to say sixteen total. We did not. We did not affect. We did not address him specifically. We. I really thought that our half court defense was good today, and credit to Underwood because they made shots, and credit to Underwood because they're a good team, you know, and they're a better team than what than what quick stats would tell you they are over the past few weeks. You know, we knew. We knew that they're going to be a quality opponent. They have they have talented kids, and they showed that tonight. You know, and I think they showed a lot of people in in the Wick and in the area tonight that they are you know still a good team, and that and that they do have you know quality kids that are capable of, of games like this. So you know, us, I thought our half court defense was was good. You know, a big biggest thing for us was was really pace. You know, we had what 29 points in that that first half. We average, I think, 70 a game, and so that you know it was just a little bit too slow for us. That was our main adjustment at halftime. 
Is this Red Jacket undefeated or what? Uh, I, know, I actually think it got its first win today. I'm, I wore, I think I wore it twice last year. I'm pretty sure I was 0 and 2. So, so on the off the schneid with the Red Jacket. All right, thanks, Coach. <laughs> Thank you.